first year master's degree student here at the University of Maine. I'm studying resource economics and policy. I'm really interested in ocean and coastal issues and I work with the CNET grant here on campus. So originally I was um, a ninth grade English school teacher in Florida. So about three and a half years in I realized that that really wasn't fulfilling to me. As much as I love the students, I realized that I wanted to have more of an impact on the world, on the environment, and on the people living within the world. So I knew that I needed to go back to school. And one of my professors at the University of Central Florida, uh, Dr. Joseph Milan, he did a few lectures on fisheries economics and just kind of learning about how we value resources and how you truly can't manage what you don't measure. And so I knew that I wanted to kind of branch out and see what other resources economists were able to use the skill set with. So I spoke with him about possibly doing some research with him. And he took me under his wing and he introduced me to an entire community of economists out there that were basically using these skill sets to help assess natural resources and species assessment. So I'm working with the social science aspect of CNET. So how do aquaculture siting decisions affect coastal communities? And what do coastal communities think about the increasing site production that is happening off the coast of Maine. So I really feel that I'm fortunate in the fact that my lab is basically anywhere that I go, right? So as part of my research with CNET, I am looking at coastal communities and how these communities feel about these aquaculture sites in their backyards, so to speak. Women, especially young women, were told at a, at, at a very young age that um, their lives were basically already made up. And I think it's important for our generation and all the generations that come after us to be aware of the freedoms that we currently have as well as the upward struggle that we still have. So I think as part of that freedom, I have the ability to decide my future. I have the ability to decide my path. And my path to success is different from everybody else's. I want to be able to change the world in a way that honors the environment and honors the legacy of women who came before me. Science isn't someone in a lab with a white coat on, right? Science is everywhere. It's all around us. And I think the more that we can educate individuals about all of the possibilities that lay before us, we will take a great step in helping us coexist with all of the incredible life forms and, and resources that are out there with us. I'm Amy Bainbridge, and I'm a scientist.